What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Uh, welcome to my first episode of Pokemon Wilds. This is a fan game. It's a very interesting game that has procedurally generated worlds. It has crafting. It has camping. It has day-night cycle. There's even shiny Pokemon, which is one of the reasons I'm so interested in playing. I'm going to show you today how you can install this game. It's really not hard whatsoever. And let's go ahead and just walk around a little bit while I talk about this game. This is a fan game, and they haven't been shut down, which I do find interesting because you know that... Sometimes fan games do get shut down. Oh no, Mankey's chasing me down. Anyway, before we get too far into the game and too far into these battles, let me show you how you can install this game and I'm gonna make it super duper simple for you. This is on Windows, okay? If you're playing on a Mac, sorry, I can't help you. I don't have a Mac. I would have made the video if I could, but I'm playing on Windows and if you wanna play on Windows, then this is the link. Don't bother writing it down. I'm gonna put it in the description for you so you should be able to find it real easy down there in the description. If you're looking for the Mac link, or the most updated Windows link. If you found this video way later, then you can just go to their Discord and Discord will have all of the good links for you. I don't have the link for the Discord, but you should be able to find it pretty easily. It's the Pokey Wilds Discord, but for the most part, this is gonna be the latest download. Once you download this, you're gonna end up with this file right here, Pokemon Wilds Windows 64. Now you can extract this without WinRare. Some people say you have to have WinRare to do this. You don't, it's built into Windows to be able to extract this. However, I have WinRare, so it looks like this for me. If you don't have WinRare, that's fine. Windows will open it just fine for you. Windows can unzip a file, so that's gonna be just fine for you. Now I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is. I've already installed the game, but I'm gonna delete my game, okay? Delete it, it's gone. All you have to do is drag this right over here. It just takes a few seconds. All right, it's gonna unzip the files nice and easy. And there we go, you have Pokemon Wilds installed now. It's just an executable file. It's not a huge long installation process like a Steam game or something like that. It's just the executable file. And then once you double click on Pokemon Wilds, there you go, you're in the game, nice and easy, okay? So just make sure you click that link down below and go and open up the zip file and extract the files to wherever you want. I put the files inside my own kind of personal Windows structure. I have all my I have all of my files here for all my um, all my video editing that I do. And then I made myself a folder for Pokemon Wilds. And then I made myself a folder for the game assets because I usually like to try to stay organized and I keep all my game assets in one place and I keep my video editing assets in a different place. That's just the way that I organize things, but you guys can put it wherever you want. You can put it on your desktop if you want. It doesn't matter where you put it. Just put it wherever you need it and then you can play from that location. Just don't forget where you put it because then you know, you're not gonna be able to find the game. So that's why I put it in a place where I would remember it. Okay, a little bit too complicated with where I put it in my personal files, but you guys should be able to make that decision on your own. So anyway, I have loaded up the game and here we are. We can do a new game. You could also load your saved game. All right, the file says default. I don't really know why it does that. I guess maybe if you wanted to name a certain file and then you could play different save files. I'm not really sure what that's for. You can also go small, medium, large, extra large, and double XL on your world. I'm gonna make a small world for now. We're gonna name ourselves Giano. You can change your color. There's a whole bunch of different colors that you can choose from. Let's go with yellow. And then there's a whole bunch of different trainers that you can choose from. Obviously yellow is a good one because it will look like you have blonde hair you know, elite status. No, I'm just kidding. You can get whatever color hair or whatever color hat you want and then hit go and it will generate you a procedurally generated world. I can't tell you enough how cool that is to get a procedurally generated world. It means you could play the game over and over again and never get the same experience twice. So that's really exciting. I don't know how you would do like a Nuzlocke or any kind of randomization on this, but you won't need to because it's procedurally generated. So it'll be different every time you play. Very, very fun, a whole lot of replay value and there's shiny Pokemon. So that could be really exciting as well. Now we're just gonna have to wait while this generates. I am covering a little bit of the screen, but not too much of it. All right, and then let me just get my cursor out of the way and you use your keyboard to move around. So I'm using the up and down and left and right arrows. And you can see this world is totally totally different than the world that I was just in a second ago because it's procedurally generated. Now let's see if I can actually, oh no, Polyrath is hostile. Get away, Polyrath. What you do is you wanna hit Z and talk to Pokemon and if you get a friendly Pokemon, they'll just join your team, which is pretty handy. And I do believe that you start, wait. 
Okay, I didn't expect that. I wandered off into the tall grass, and you know if you wander off into that tall grass, then you're gonna be at risk. So anyway, we're in a battle, and I was gonna say, I do believe you start with a Machamp, sorry, Machop, on your team, and we did start off with a Machop on the team. We got a level three Skarmory here. Let's see if I can actually take him off. He flinched, lucky for me, so we're gonna take down this little Skarmory here. And then, yeah, basically you just wander around. There's different biomes. There's different Pokemon in the different biomes. You can get shiny Pokemon. There's camping. You can build yourself a campsite so at night ghosts won't come and chase you down. Oh yeah, Machop got a level. Let's go. I'm not going to play too much on this episode and I'm not even going to save this game right here. However, I did want to show you guys what's this all about? What's going on here? Well, it's a fan game. It's been out for about a year. I think it came out around 2021 and they haven't got cease and desist and shut down yet. So that's a good sign. Usually stuff like this does get shut down if they charge money for it. But sometimes the fan games last a really long time if they don't charge any money for it. Oh! Darulodon! Dude, that's a sick spawn! Oh my goodness, he's level 8. He's probably gonna beast mode my Machop. Anyway, you guys, pretty cool game. I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll play this game. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me play this game and if you would like to see live stream content or just maybe uploaded content like this video is. Wow, I almost one-shot Darulodon because it's super effective. Dude, let's see if I can actually get through this. Luckily, he did leer on me. I don't know if I'm gonna save this game, but so far this game is going pretty good. I did about three different worlds before this, and I kept getting distracted by various things that were happening, and I just ended up making like super, super long videos like I'm doing right now. But what I really wanted to do on this video is show you how to install it, and give you maybe like a little preview of why you would want to install it. There's also day-night cycle. The water goes in and out with the tides, so sometimes there's places that become tidally locked where you can't get to them because the tide is up and then the tide goes down and you can get there. So, you know, pretty cool game. You can also craft and you can build things. I'm pretty sure eventually you're gonna build like a home in the area, because I saw that you can build fences and you can build gates and things like that. And I was like, yo, I mean, that's crazy. Like this, it looks like a really, really cool game. Uh, so apparently Machop is the one who can build. Ma Machop use build, press C and V to build tiles. I don't have any, um, oh, I can build a torch. Let's go. Wait, what? We build a chest? I guess I need two logs to build this chest. That's why I can't build anything yet. Okay, now if I wanted to see this, the thing is I couldn't figure out how to make them stop building, but if you make them follow you, then they'll stop building. So that's the only way I've figured out to make them stop building so far. But yeah, your Pokemon can follow you. That's always fun. I need to get a Pokemon that has cut so I can start to cut down trees and cut down bushes. So that's one thing. I also, oh, Don Fan. Oh no, Fampy. I also don't know how you get Pokeballs. I haven't gotten that far into this. It's basically my first time ever playing. Do you start with any Pokeballs? You start with a few items, but I don't have any Pokeballs. Let's just run away from this Don Fan. Usually there's more Pokemon near you, but because it is procedurally generated, you really can't control what's gonna happen. Also, these two Pokemon might produce an egg. If I leave them here long enough with the heart above their head, it's possible they could produce an egg. It's also possible that this Pokemon is not aggressive. Oh, no, he's aggressive, even though he's got the heart above his head. He's aggressive towards me, but apparently not towards my Machop. Anyway, really cool game. This is the first time that I've gotten into a game and there wasn't a whole bunch of Pokemon around. And also it's procedurally generated, so I'm wondering if you can get stuck, you know? I'm wondering if uh, it's po like, I don't know where to go. There's actually nowhere to go aside from that Polyrath was over there. Let's see if we can find somewhere to go up top. Yo, what is this? Wait, what? What is this? What is this Pokemon? Rhyperior, what? Dude, there's really good Pokemon in here. I mean, you saw Darulodon. Darulodon's from generation eight. So I mean, whoa, wait, what? Yo, I think your boy just got stuck. Yo, am I stuck? No. I believe your boy just got stuck. And plus there was like almost nowhere to go. Yo, 
Well, anyway, I don't know if I'm technically stuck right now because I'm such a noob that I've never played this game and I, I just don't know what I don't know. I mean, I, I actually think I'm stuck. You can see we went to the nighttime. I don't... I wonder... This is crazy. Let's go to the guide and see what happens. Field moves. Stand still while holding X to stop using a field move. Oh, that's how I got my Pokemon to stop following me. Interesting. If you hold down X, they'll stop using a field move. Interesting. Dude, I am stuck right here. What? Anyway, I guess it's a good place to wrap up the episode. I really just wanted to show you guys how to install the game. It's very easy to install the game. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I will try to answer all the questions. But I thought that the installation process was like super easy. So hopefully you don't have any problems with it. I made this video way longer than it actually needs to be, but I'm just, I'm just so curious about this game. I can't believe I legitimately got myself stuck, so I guess it's a pretty good place to stop the video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions about how to install, just let me know down in the comments. I'll try to answer each and every one of them if I get a chance. Usually I answer my comments in about a day or so, so I'll try to answer you if you have any questions. But once again, I thought the installation was really easy, super easy, so hopefully you guys are able to install the game and start playing. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to my amazing subscribers, and peace.